wine. Hello everybody, welcome to Off the Court with Harvey Council. Today I want to talk to you about a principle that I share with, uh, with my group and with my teams when I was coaching and with the people that I mentor and do life coaching with. And what it talks about, what it says is that you must have a PhD attitude if you're going to be successful. What I mean by PhD attitude, a lot of times people think about when you hear PhD, they hear about or think about being a doctor or having a doctorate degree and that type of thing. But that's not what this particular case is talking about. What it's talking about is I use those three letters, PhD, and every letter stands for a word, okay? And the first one is P, okay? And P stands for poor, okay? And what I mean by poor is that it means that not that you don't have anything but it's like you have a mentality of where uh you're thinking poor in terms of i gotta go get this i gotta go work for this i gotta go do something to get what i don't have okay so i have to have that poor mentality okay and then the h stands for hungry all right and when i say h that means that you gotta be hungry you gotta go for it you gotta want it it's like when you're hungry uh at home and you're sitting on the couch if you get hungry, what do you do? You go to the refrigerator and get something to eat. That's how it's got to be out here in life, man. You got to get up and go get it, all right? Nobody's going to sit there and bring it to you, but you got to be hungry enough to go get it. A lot of people say they want it, but they're not hungry enough to get up and go get it, okay? And then the third letter is D, where you got to be driven, okay? And, and what I mean by driven is that you have to get up, you have to go get it at any cost, okay? You can't let nothing stop you. You can't let nothing get in your way from you going and seeking that thing that you're trying to get out there. When I think about Dr. Martin Luther King, he was driven to go and do what he did around the civil rights movement, okay? He was driven. He knew that he was going to die doing this, all right? Because he told his family that he think that he was going to uh, 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 end up getting killed by doing what he's doing and believing in what he's believing in, but he was still driven every day to get up and go do it. He still got up knowing that this is a possibility that's gonna happen, okay? And, and I use that example because that's how we have to be about life if we're gonna be successful. We have to be driven enough to get up and go get it, okay? So you gotta be poor, you gotta be hungry, and you gotta be driven, okay? And you gotta put all those three things together. And when you put those three things together, you're gonna be able to get and receive that thing that you want out of life. But if you don't do that, if you don't have that poor mentality where, okay, I don't have the knowledge about this, I don't have what I need, okay, I'm poor in that area, so I gotta go and build that area up. And then I gotta be hungry enough to get up off the couch and go get it. And then I gotta be driven enough to know that I gotta do it on days when I don't feel like doing it. Okay? All right. So I hope this has been a blessing to you, and I hope you have a great day. Yes, see you.